guys, today I'm back with what feels like my monthly ColourPop haul and try on. They will not stop releasing things that I want to buy and I cannot resist. So when the new, I just did one like a month and a half ago, I will link to that down below. I've done tons of them now if you're curious to see some of my ColourPop favorites and I've reviewed both the foundations. Anyways, uh, they launched the new stick blushes and highlighters and I was like ooh, I'm interested but I literally had just purchased and then they came out with the yellow palette and then they came out with the orange eyeshadow palette and I was like okay I'm sold so I didn't pick up a ton but I figured I would do a try on and haul for you anyways because I did get some questions specifically about the stick highlighters and blushes so let's go ahead and get started so let's start with the stick blushes and I should say uh, Colourpop now from what I can tell anyways you shouldn't be paying duties on them anymore I think Think. I know some people are still having mixed experiences so I feel like sometimes it's shipping out of Canada sometimes it's shipping out of the United States I actually didn't check this time last time my package shipped out of the United States or sorry out of Canada so I didn't pay any duties shipping wasn't super fast but it didn't take a really long time either so it was pretty good and it's definitely getting better so I picked up three of the sticks I had so many things in my cart I was debating trying out the fourth ray skincare line because there are so many interesting products but then my cart was like 200 and something American dollars I was like okay back away this is ridiculous so I picked up three of the sticks the first one that I picked up I actually kind of thought it might work as a contour and it won't it's definitely more warm and rosy than some of the swatches I had seen online but that being said it's still a really gorgeous blush shade so this is the first shade I wore I put on my cheeks and I will also say that I'm wearing the Colourpop stick foundation Every time I put this back on, I'm like, this is the dreamiest foundation to blend out I've ever tried. Like, there's something about the way it blends into the skin that is just incredible. It's so good if you've yet to try it. But the first stick that I got is in the shade Roosevelt. And like I said, this is kind of like a, a brownie rose. If you have my skin tone, I think you'll really, really enjoy this. It's really ni a nice formula as well. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I've gotten more into stick and cream lately, but this is a pretty beautiful formula. This is kind of my first impression, so I can't speak too much on like wear time or anything like that. But I really like this shade. It's a great neutral, especially if cream products kind of scare you a little bit and you're afraid about being able to blend it out or looking like a clown and it being too bright especially if you have my skin tone I think that this is such a great neutral if you like like a a MAC raisin kind of but a little bit lighter it's kind of like in between a MAC raisin and a MAC copper tone blush in a cream format would be my way of describing it it's a really really beautiful shade and then I got two bright ones so the first one is Mic Drop, which is what I'm wearing on the apples of my cheeks today. You probably don't need to wear two shades of cream blush, but I'm excessive and I wanted to show you both of the shades, so they can be mixed. Uh, I blended out the other one first. This one is in the shade Mic Drop. It's pretty vibrant. like. It's a pretty vibrant coral, like it looks like a straight up lipstick almost, but I found when I blended it, uh, I, you know, I blended it out on my skin, it looked really, really good. The texture on them is not dry, but it's also not too like oily or slick like some stick products can be. It's a really nice in-between. I found it easy to blend out with a brush as well. I think you could definitely use a wet beauty sponge. I probably wouldn't use my fingers with this type of product, but that's up to you. And I, had, I didn't feel like it uh, moved around my foundation or anything like that that either which is probably the most important thing and then I got the shade flamenco and this is a little bit of a different one for me it's definitely a little bit cooler tone it's still around the same depth as mic drop that I mentioned is that what it's called mic drop yeah but it's definitely a little more cool toned or maybe neutrally kind of bright pink because the majority of my cream blushes are all the same kind of like warm family so I feel like this was maybe stepping outside of my comfort zone a little bit but yeah I gotta say overall if you were curious about my thoughts on these stick blushes I think they're great and they have a really nice shade range and one thing that I really appreciate first of all the packaging feels a little bit more hardy than some of the original color pop they've definitely stepped up their packaging game but they have the color and the name not only the name but the actual color of the blush on the top so if you pick up a few that's an issue I have with like some color pop products like this powder I'm not wearing it today but like if you were to buy a single bronzer from them and put them in this packaging like I had to write on the back in sharpie like blush bronzer which was kind of annoying so I really appreciate that not only the shade is here and it's super obvious but it adds the actual color so at a glance you can easily pick out the blush that you're reaching for if you are a blush junkie and pick up more than one so then in addition to the blushes they launched highlighter sticks and again I'm wearing two of them today so the first one that I put on is in the shade boss this one I just 
I didn't really want to get three, I only wanted two, but I really wasn't sure between Boss and Bullseye which one was going to be better because one was like a lighter gold, one was a bronzier gold, and I find sometimes like because I'm like uh, a bit of an in-between skin tone, like I'm not super dark, I'm not super light, there's like a champagne -y gold for lighter skin tones, there's a bronzy gold, and then like I'm left in the middle and I can never get a good match. So I picked up both of them and I thought that may be helpful to you as well. So I'm wearing Bullseye today on my my nose and in kind of more the center of my face and I feel like I can wear either of these but I still would love a bit of an in-between shade. It may actually exist and I just did a poor job choosing them but it is really really beautiful. There's no like when you look at it, it almost looks like there's glitter in there. Like, not glitter, but kind of like an intense shimmer. But on the face, I just had to zoom in to confirm. On the face, I feel like it doesn't look too intense. I also have a little bit of fallout for my eyeshadow, so it's kind of a little bit hard to tell. Uh, but yeah, I really like the bullseye shade. And then Boss, like I said, is a little bit deeper. And that is the one that I'm wearing on my cheekbones. And I really think that these are gorgeous. Like, as much as they might have a little shimmer in them on the skin, they have this really beautiful wet look with out it looking chunky I feel like even if you have a more textured skin type it may not be the perfect one for you but I think it has a really gorgeous look and like I said before don't be afraid to wear a highlighter if you have textured skin when I had super cystic acne I had people commenting on my videos all the time telling me you're highlighting your pimple and I'm like well you're highlighting the fact that you're a something and I'm gonna leave that word out you can fill in the blank but do whatever the hell you want and then the last shade, mini rant, the last shade that I picked up is kind of a different one. And this one is like a pinky peach in, I'll go to look at the bottom, in Hope Street. So I'm not wearing this one today, but I don't know. We're going to see on this one. It's a little more purpley than I wanted it to be on the website. It looks a little more peach, and I feel like the shimmer in this one is a little more intense and has like kind of purple shimmer in there, which is definitely not my preference. So something to keep in mind, I guess, is that from stick to stick, the formula on the highlighters is not, not that the formula is not exactly the same, but I feel like the glittery shimmery bits inside are definitely more intense in the light, the light one named uh, Bullseye and the pink over Boss is a little bit smoother. So I can't, that kind of annoys me, like I feel like they should all be the same. So we'll see on the pink one, it's definitely not going to be one that I wear all the time because I like a pink highlighter that has a little bit of depth and purpliness to it. I feel like it can be really flattering because uh, those like iridescent colorful highlighters were super hot for a while but on my skin tone I hated them but I did end up falling in love with a couple of pinky purple highlights that I really liked for my skin in a powder format so I was hoping to find that in a stick format but I don't know. I haven't put it on my face yet but it's looking pretty sparkly so we'll see. Now the thing that really set me over the top to purchase these items were these palettes. I've been eyeing them and it's a genius marketing strategy because I really want to go catch all these palettes, gotta catch them all, just because like it's so pleasing to have a rainbow of palettes. My friend uh, Shell who loves rainbow eyeshadow and bright eyeshadows has picked up every single one of these and that's very very satisfying but I have held off but I do think these palettes are great. My question for these palettes was am I going to be able to use these palettes on their own because as much as I love the idea I do like to be able to use a palette on its own because in reality, I'm going to reach for it less. That being said, if you're picking up like a blue or a green and you don't wear tons of blues and greens, like we all have plenty of browns in our collection, so I get that as well, but I, I, whoops, I do like it to be able to kind of stand on its own too. That's kind of the perfect palette to me. So the one I'm obviously wearing on my eyes right now is Uh Huh Honey, and I love the yellow eyeshadows. I did a yellow look not long ago, and this look honestly is not as yellow as I had intended, but when I put the shade on my eyes, I just literally... I couldn't control myself, I just wanted to smush it all over my face. So what I'll say about this palette is I can't use it all on its own. In my opinion, I think that this shade Stinger, this shade Totally Buggin', and this shade Buzzkill should have more variety. I think that these two shades are too light and too similar, especially because yellows, not that yellow doesn't look good on everybody, but yellow pops on really deep skin tones and these have really great pigmentation like the other yellows in there and I think this palette would be incredible for deeper skin tones but I think you're really they're really missing the mark here on these three shades because this didn't even give me enough enough de depth I had to reach for the brown in this palette the sweet talk palette which I love um to, to get a completed look. Like, I could have had a fully complete look out of this, and I mean, this is totally subjective. You may not care at all and be fine to reach for another brown, but I just think, like, 
I, I get what they were doing, and this is actually quite an interesting brown because it's kind of a yellow brown, so I don't mind that shade, but I just wish there was another deeper shade in there, and I get you don't want to like mess up the whole look of the palette, but for me, for usability, I would love to see that in there. That being said, this Queen Bee shade blew me away. It's so much brighter than it looks. Uh, I was really impressed with that. Obviously, I haven't gotten to use all the shades in here, but in general, ColourPop's shadows are so good. I think that their palettes and the combination of shades that they put in the palettes are some of the best out there, comparable, if not better, than a lot of high-end out there, and I think they do an incredible job. Like the Yes Please palette, the Sweet Talk palette, and the Game Sports Game Whatever palette, three of my favorite palettes of all time, and they all have colors in there that challenge me, make me wanna go outside of my comfort zone, but it still feels comfortable, if that makes sense. So I love all of those palettes so much, so, I think this is a great palette. If you're a fan of yellow, I encourage you to pick it up. It's not crazy expensive. I love the packaging. I love that it's fun and yellow, but it doesn't look like it's made for a child. Uh, it is um, compact. It has a mirror in there. So I think it is a great palette. I just feel like they missed the mark on these two shades not having enough difference in them. If you have a more fair skin tone, it'll definitely pop for you. And these shades are really interesting, these super glittery shades they've started doing. They're not as annoying as you would think. Um, <laughs> so yeah, overall I like the palette, I just, I don't know. It's not a deal breaker for me though, I still think it's great. And then the Orange You Glad I actually have not used yet because my goal was to only use the yellow palette just to see. And then I will do some more looks probably on Instagram with these palettes. And I did actually do a full tutorial of everything that I'm wearing on my face on Instagram. I'll link to that down below and everything I'm wearing is always linked down below as well. And then the orange palette, I think we're getting a little more variety in here. At first when I saw this on Twitter, wherever it was, I was kind of like, it's not that orange. But then when I saw it swatched, I was like, okay, it definitely looks more orange, but there's definitely a strong coral vibe in here too. I feel like there could be a little less warmth and a little more of like a yellowy orange, if that makes sense, like, a, like an orange, like an orange you would go eat. But I do think this is a beautiful palette. I'm glad we're getting a deeper shade in here. I love this shade. I think like these kind of matte creamy, although it's like a creamy orange shade, I think that's going to be amazing for my skin tone and deeper because I struggle a lot with matte creamy shades that aren't like super white and stark on my skin. Skin, So I think this is going to be a really good shade for that. Love the creamsicle shade in here. It's all very, very beautiful and I like that this isn't just a warm brown. It does have some warmth and some like kind of red in there. Again, I do feel like it could be a little more true orange, but I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> so yeah, overall, I think these palettes are super cute. Honestly, right now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, I want them all. I want to do a series and I want to do like um, a look for each palette, but probably not going to happen. So I will stop talking about that. But anyways, so those are the palettes. Then lastly, I picked up another BFF3 lip liner. Every time I order from ColourPop now, it's become a tradition to throw one of these in. This is one of my must-have products of all time. I have a million of them. It is the lip liner of life if you have. Again, I know I've said my skin tone like 40 times in this video, but truly this makes any lipstick work for me. It is so easy. It's an incredible formula. It's creamy. It's long wearing. And even if this shade doesn't appeal to you, these lip liners in general are some of the best out there. I picked up another of the liquid liners. I got the yellow one I think in my last order so then in this one I picked up the kind of hunter green shade and it's called The Hills and I really love these liners. If you like colored liners because a lot of the time colored liners come in that pot style with like the little brush and like that's not happening. I'm not a makeup artist. I cannot do that, okay? I don't have the time or the patience. I find this style to be really, really easy, but in general they don't come in colors and when they do it's like a navy blue or like a green that doesn't really show up on your eyes. So I find that these give incredible amount of color and pigment. They're easy to control and they're very comparable. The only other liner I've tried like this is from Dior. They have a similar style and came out with a yellow, blue, and a pink like last year for a summer collection. And those were awesome, but they were limited edition and very expensive. So these are definitely comparable. They come in a ton of shades. They're not um, limited edition and they're so good. And it's a fun way to, cause I don't like, I love eyeshadow, but at the same time, like I love the look of like just a bunch of black, um, 
mascara, like a green liner, and just like a great nude lip. And I think that can be so simple and gorgeous. And this actually shows up as green, but nothing like too in your face. So I really, really love these. And they have great colored mascaras as well too, because colored products for me, I'm like, I like them and they're fun, but in reality, I know I'm not gonna reach for them that honest. So I like that honest, that often, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So I like that I have a, color, a colorful option that's affordable and actually shows the color that it says it's gonna be. So then the last item that I picked up are these new lip products. They are the Just a Tint. And again, ColourPop makes incredible lip products, great shade ranges. I almost picked up two sets of two of these, but then I, again, I slowed myself down. I had to pare the cart down. I thought I would just try one. And this one is in the shade, why do you make it so hard? Oh, they put it on the top. So this must be a new thing that they're doing. City of Stars. And I really like this shade. I wouldn't say it would be like my first choice to pair with this eye look, but I do, I do like the look. It's an interesting kind of balmy texture. It's very, very buildable. I wouldn't say like if I bl if I was to blot this down, it would definitely feel more like a tint, but it doesn't have, like it has quite a bit of pigmentation in there for a tint. To me, a tint is like super sheer, but this kind of feels like a more sheer lipstick kind of formula, but still really, really comfortable, easy. I like that this is like peachy, but not too nude. It comes in a ton of great shades and you can get them in kind of like double sets that include two shades, I think for $12. I think on their own, they might be like seven or something like that. But yeah, really, really pretty shades. It's an interesting formula. I don't love this, this packaging. But that's kind of like the name of the game when it comes to chubby crayons. Remember when chubby lip crayons were like the absolute jam for a while there and then the liquefied lip. It's so interesting how we go through so many trends. But anyways, I'll leave it at that. Overall, very, very happy with my ColourPop haul as always. Let me know if you've given in and purchased any of the uh, colorful palettes or if I've uh, gotten you on to the BFF3 lips, lip um, pencil because that is my life. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.